Hi crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Joy here and I am super excited to be doing day 15 of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. I created what I'm calling a panel card. I've created three panels and then we're gonna add some florals and a sentiment to it. So let's open up day 15 and see what's in here. And you guys, it's so super cute. And instantly when I saw this, small embossing folder, I knew I wanted to create a panel card. So I have die cut some cardstock just to a workable size. I am gonna trim this piece, these pieces of dark green cardstock. They will be one and a quarter inches by four inches because we're gonna create an A2 size card. So right now I am just placing them in that little embossing folder and putting it that through my Platinum 6 die cut machine from Spellbinders. I also have the universal plates, which I do have to say I really love, especially for embossing folders since there's 3D embossing folders, regular embossing folders. Some of the 3D embossing folders are really thick compared to other uh, 3D embossing folders. So I am using the universal plates and it has all the directions of what type of sandwiches you need for what and I would recommend getting them because it really has been a lifesaver. Okay, so I'm trimming these down again. These are going to be one and a quarter inches by four inches. I actually ended up trimming these down. These were a little bit bigger and then I realized I needed to trim them down more. So that's the final measurement of these. Then I'm going to have a lighter green mask behind it. All of this cardstock is from Cardstock Warehouse and they've got some really beautiful fancy names that I have no idea how to pronounce so I'm not even gonna try. So the lighter green uh, panels are one and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. So I'm going to adhere these together. And when I'm making these panel cards, I really do like to have a mat behind it because I think it makes it stand out even better. For, I don't know, I just, I, like, I just like the way that looks, having a mat behind each one of these panels. Then I'm using Spellbinder's Wreath Builder die, but I'm not gonna create a wreath. I have die cut it from uh, the same green, light green cardstock. Then I brought in a blue cardstock and a white cardstock. I kept this very just simple, but I love the colors. I think it's so, so pretty. And I'm just going to adhere the flowers to the leaves. You can kind of see where the flowers go. It's really super simple. On the bottom of these two with the blue flowers, I am gonna cut that little round circle off because this is supposed to connect as a wreath, but I don't want that on there. So I'm just gonna trim that off with my scissors. Then I can adhere this white flower. Then with some of that dark green, I can adhere like the base of the white flower. I've got a little white flower bud that I'm going to adhere down here, but I needed some of that darker green. And so this is just super simple, just wanting to get kind of some smaller florals on here because I don't want to cover up that pretty panel, that pretty um, embossing look on the background. So let's add some foam tape behind these. I do love these to have some dimension. I think that's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to add some right to the center. Then I'm going to start with my center piece and kind of work my way out. I'm just eyeballing it. Obviously you could measure it if you want just to get um, a good visual on where center is and then spacing in between each. And I'm not pushing it all the way down yet because I do have to move the middle one, I think twice. <laughs> I think I had it a little too high. The other one's a little too low, but I, in the end, I got it figured out. So I'm just putting that one in place and then I'm gonna move that center one one more time, moving it up just a little bit. And then once everything's in place, I can really add a lot of pressure. Now I've adhered down two of those florals and I'm having them cross at the bottom, like the, the bottom of the stems. I'm just gonna have them just kind of laying there together. But look at how pretty that is. I love that it's just going across mainly two of those panels. And then when I bring the sentiment in, it's gonna go across the third panel. And this is a sentiment from Tailored Expressions Oh, this is the birthday, the Simple Strips birthday. And it says, hey there, birthday girl. It's already stamped in black ink. 
I had one in embossing, like in a gold embossing, but I just liked the black ink. I think it was perfect. But look at how easy this card is coming together. Then I'm adding some Trinity Stamps Crystal Ball Dewdrop Bobbles just to kind of add a little something extra and finish off the card i'm using my embellishment wand and some barely art glue then i can adhere this to a white a2 size card base and look at that background isn't that uh, little embossing folder so fun thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching i hope that you feel inspired and i hope you have a really wonderful day thank you so much for watching bye